Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Unfading Silence. Now that Update 35 is live on PC and will soon be live on console, I just wanted to give an update on the bomber. Enjoy. I keep waiting, I keep on standing tall, above the ground, you wanna see me fall, see me crawl, see me go like you don't need me anymore, but I keep winning. I'm I hope that you guys enjoyed a few montage clips of the bomber in action. Some were from Mid-Year Mayhem, but also some were from the new update as well. So with that being said, you guys, there is some great changes when it comes down to the Magic of Nightblade bomber, and we are going to talk about those changes throughout this video. So bear with me, and let's just get right into this, all right? So the first thing we're going to talk about is going to be the food. We are running the Ghastly Eyeball for the food. It's going to give us max magic and mag recovery. For the potions that we're going to be using on this spec, we are going to be running the Essence of Immovability. It's going to give us immunity to knockback and disabling effects. Also, it's going to give us Major Expedition and a little bit of Stam on top of it. For the first five piece set that we are going to be rocking is going to be Vicious Death. We are going to be rocking a lot of medium armor pieces with this setup if you technically can end up getting like five medium armor and two light armor pieces that would be more beneficial for you the next set that we are going to be running is plague break and i know what you're thinking plague break got nerfed yes it technically did get nerfed for people that use it in 1v1s or 1vx action but when it comes down to bombers no it did not get nerfed at all if anything it got buffed for bombers and we will explain that later on in the video all of the armor is going to be in divines with the max magica enchant on there as well for the jewelry all infused with the max spell damage enchantments on there also and we are still going to be running the oaken soul ring why are we going to be running the oaken soul ring it just gives way too much damage for us on this bomber. So, and as you can see, it now gives minor force. So we can actually switch up our bar a little bit and we can take this, the Sigic ability, excuse me. We can take the Sigic ability off of our bar and we can now actually have a heal, which is more beneficial because as you can see, this is a very, very squishy Nightblade. We only have around 21k health, and that is currently because I am inside a campaign where we have Emperor. So this Nightblade is technically always sitting around 19k health. But as you can see right there, we ended up having a base damage of 45% critical damage that can actually go up if you decide you don't want to have a heal on your bar. And I'll explain that later on in the video. It can actually go up to 55% plus with the modifier on top of it. Currently, you can get up to like 95% critical damage or you can end up going up to 105 critical damage. But we will explain about that a little bit later on in the video. We are rocking the Shadow Munda Stone and we are a state stage three vampire as well so as you can see right there we do have that emperor bonus and that is why our health is so high but let's get on to the skills that we're using soul tether is a great skill for the stun but also it procs 
Plague Break. Along with Soul Tether, Proxy Debt will proc Plague Break as well as Sap Essence. If you are quick enough to be able to attack someone else, you can use Concealed Weapon as well, and that will also proc Plague Break. So you have the potential chance of actually proccing Plague Break on four individuals. Five, if you actually count landing a light attack on some random person as well. So even though Plague Break got nerfed for like 1v1s and 1vxers, Plague Break is buffed very, very good when it comes down to bombers. So right here, we ended up switching over. If you decide you want to be able to have a little bit more critical damage, then definitely slot something under the assassination tree line to be able to get more penetration along with more critical damage. So if you feel like you need a little bit more, go for it. I feel like I don't. I'd rather have a heal just for the simple fact that we are very, very squishy on this Nightblade. So I actually like the heal. I feel like the 10% more critical damage doesn't really do much benefit for me because we do have vicious death along with plague break lots of damage coming out with just those two sets so i feel like the 10 percent more critical damage doesn't really work too well for me so i i much rather have a heal on the bar now let's go into the green tree for cp you can pause the video as you see fit on this uh champion layout because let's face it, the green tree is the role play tree. There's only a few things on here that will actually be more beneficial for you as a Nightblade or as any character in general. Um, I have a slow mount, so I like to have a little bit more uh, fast movement speed. So that's why I have my points, how they are actually located in there in the blue tree. But let's talk about the blue tree. The blue tree for a bomber is always going to be the same thing over and over again because we want to be able to have a lot of critical damage. We want to have a lot of AoE damage and we want to have that nice little extra bomb as well with overload. So like I said earlier when we jumped in the CP tree, pause the video as you see fit just to be able to see exactly where I have my champion points laid out in here. But when we end up going over to the red tree, there is actually something you can slot in the red tree that is very beneficial for bombers. I know, right? The red tree is typically something that, you know, boosts uh, mitigation and gives you more health or gives you some movement speed. But there is. There actually is something in the red tree that can actually boost your damage on a bomber more than anything else. Not really. I'm just kidding. But there is something actually in the red tree that is very, very beneficial for a bomber. And we're going to talk about that right at the end. So now that we are finally getting to the end of it, here it is, Bastion. So with this leveled up all the way, you do 15% more damage to people with shields on. So if you're attacking a group that has a shield on them or a barrier or a sork or DKs, you will do 15% additional damage. So another thing that has changed with the Nightblade, we lost the stun from Concealed Weapon, but what did we get in replace of it? When we leave Sneak, or invisible or major expedition ends when in combat we get 10 percent even more damage for five seconds so when we go in for the bomb and we end up using soul tether boom it is going to proc this and we have 10 percent more damage for our proxy debt for our sap essence for our vicious death proc and for our plague break proc so enjoy it it is fun bombing this update is amazing i feel stronger on a bomber this update than i have in a long time this is what our base spell damage looks like without continuous attack and now let's take a look at what the spell damage looks like with continuous attack so here we are with continuous attack up and we are over 7,000 spell damage with continuous attack on this bomber i'm going to show you the tool tips of what vicious death actually procs for on a normal base with continuous attack 25,000 tool tip on vicious death but let's see what it looks like fully buffed when we have over 7,000 spell damage we are sitting close to 30,000 damage on a vicious death proc it goes up as well for plague break you guys 
So honestly, enjoy the update. It's a blast. Stamina Nightblades, Magicka Nightblades, Hybrid Templars, all in a very, very, very good place right now. Pet Sorks. Oh my god, Pet Sorks. Don't get me started. Lots of good changes with this update, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Peace. Have fun console when it goes live.